visible. I had just 30 seconds, it's not a lot of time, but I'd basically say that across the course of the season, one thing that stayed the same was just how much we were there for each other all the time. I think it's just a place where we all go to obviously run, but it's more than that. It's, it's a community. We're a pretty young team right now. We had a lot of guys graduate, and so we were pretty hopeful coming into the season and just looking to Place some big shoes. Go It's really fun and it like teaches you a lot of good lessons, like like hard work. It's kind of like a big family. It was all about just trying to keep up with people, and even if you don't get your goals, you know, just obviously just keep trying. Nothing is as hard as it seems. Cross country is like a community of people, well, really more like a family of people. We made it! The seniors before me, I leave behind the legacy of cross country truly being a supportive community. I hope to leave behind the legacy of Bone Jovi. I'd honestly like to leave behind a pretty competitive legacy. I've always wanted to be the best on the classes. I hope to leave that fighting spirit in East Lake Cross Country. Yeah, I think this season is probably my weirdest season of cross country just because I've had a lot of like guys I've looked up to in the uh, grade above me or freshman in college now and this is like the first time where like I'm not really like the person that's looking up to them. I'm the person that like people are looking up to. Taking that leadership role just felt weird being in that position. It definitely felt like I needed to take 
at least more of a like a deliberate approach to being a leader on the team. My name is Holly Carroll, and I'm here to tell you, cross country is the best the hardest sport. All y'all that say cross country is for nerds, well, you're not wrong, but it's also the hardest sport ever, so. That's a pretty good bird. I want to give a thank you to Justin Hong for, like, even the first day I went to East Lake, I remember he was, like, super nice to me, like, refreshment orientation. To me, hey, Lamb, even though you've been injured this season, I know you're a really, really strong runner, and I know you're going to do amazing next year, and I can't wait to hear all about it, and you better call me, I miss running with you. One person does come to mind, uh, Preston Daniels. I want to shout out him. I mean, he's, he's been putting in a lot of hard work. He does have the drive to do it. Definitely Salma. I have known Salma since my freshman year, and definitely this one race, she gave me just this giant hug, and it was so comforting. And I think that's just like the best representation of Salma ever. She's just been like such a like huge role model in my life. Like. I just like aspire to be her. You look so cute. I'd like to shout out Danny for always being there. And Kai, I know she's gonna do great things as a captain next year. Both of them have always been really positive, great teammates, and I know they were people that I could always turn to. Three, two, one, get started go. I want to shout out Abby because she's a really good friend in and outside of the team and we've made like a lot of really good memories with her and hopefully when it comes she's going to be some of that I'm going to miss on the team. My name is Abby, this is me before my race. This is me. <laughs> I want to shout out Lexi, this is her first year being captain and she did an amazing job. To Silas, Max Q. Uh, Chase, Bexit, and Colin Thompson. Thank you to Coach Troy for like pushing everybody to be their best all the time. A coach can make all the difference in a sport. They want us to have fun and to be the best versions of ourselves and to work hard. The coaches are really people who I look up to. A coach, uh, Jody, she like always there to encourage us. Just like the little things, even just Troy saying hi to you in the morning. Dirk making sure you're okay, feeling 100%. Kid with his core routines, same with Jody. Nancy is just so funny and just always makes me laugh, and it's kind of like a bomb because she has so much insight. I'm hoping that it could be you. It was great. Number one. Number one. Yeah, sorry. I really have to start. Is that something you think you might do? Tired schemes, no routines, and everything. He's like so excited for his podcast. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, he's coach kid. So I'm looking for the perfect stranger. End of your world sexy video. Undefeated. Number one. Please do the duck noise for us, Rodney. because uh, the first thing Austin and I did when we got to our room was jump on the bed. And I sent you a video of that. <laughs> I got locked in a pond. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we push it. <laughs> Brady and I pushed him into a closet and we tied it shut with a towel. <laughs> and then we left him in there for This can't go on because of the troubles he does. And then, no, I sent him the video. To go try it? No, I sent Jack the video of that. Thank you.